Hi Al. I want to talk to you about what happens to water when the temperature of water changes. When water gets colder, the density increases. And what that means is the water gets heavier when it cools down. The opposite happens when water gets warm. It gets lighter or the density decreases. Well, that has a really interesting effect in places like oceans and lakes. Consider the ocean. Now, you may think the water just sits out in the ocean, but that's not true. It's flowing around in a lot of different directions, and those are called currents. If you've ever looked at the river and you see the water flowing in one direction, that's the current or the, the water flowing. Well, the same thing happens in the ocean. There are some currents that make water go up in the direction of the North Pole or up in areas where it's really, really cold. Well, what happens when the water gets up there, it cools the water and that makes it heavier and the water sinks. And when the water sinks and goes down to the bottom of the ocean, there's a whole nother current that makes that water go along the bottom to another place. Well, if water is going down in one place, like up north where it's really cold, the water must be coming up somewhere else. And that's really, really important. When the water comes up from the bottom of the ocean, or even from a lake, uh, sometimes that happens for a different reason, that's called an upwelling. And it just means that water is coming up from, from the bottom of a lake or an ocean. And that's real important because at the bottom of a lake or an ocean are a lot of little animals and plants and, and just really small stuff that the fish up above like to eat. So when you have an upwelling, it brings a lot of nutrients and food up for other animals. Now that idea of cold water being heavier and sinking and warm water rising, I'd like to show you in a little demonstration. Let's take a look. Okay, Al, what we have here are two glasses with their open parts together, and I have it separated by a piece of wax paper. Now the red water up above here is cold, and the water, the clear water below is warm. So we're going to pretend that this is ocean water, and this is the warm water that a current took up in the direction of the North Pole. So now that it's up in a place that's very cold, it's cooled down. So let's see what happens when we have this cold water and it uh, uh, is with some warm water. And we'll see what happens here. Look how the cold water goes down and the warm water comes up. That cold water going down is what happens when the currents take warm ocean water north. And when that clear water came up, that would be like an upwelling. 